So to me, that's more value than anything else. Or yeah, I've gone and done all these courses and yeah, I met with this guru and they cleaned up my ancestral stuff and they have balanced my chakras and they have cleaned my past, but I'm jealous all the time. I'm angry all the time. I carry a lot of anger in me. When my brother accomplishes something, I'm jealous to him. When I lose my parking spot to someone else, I want to get out of the car and beat them. So what, what is that work for? Yeah, great, nice medals here. But where are you? What have you done? Have you found inner peace? Are you quiet within? Are you practicing stillness? Does your presence bring harmony in your environment or creates chaos? Are you able to handle when somebody tells you something you don't like, they insult your prejudice can you handle that and stay calm and quiet because someone disagrees with your way? Someone is insulting your guru or your president or your hairstyle or your tribe. Can you stay still or you're going to get bent out of shape just because they said something because they're stupid? Where are you? What have you accomplished? You want to look at that. And the teaching that you're gravitated to, is it bringing you to inner balance, inner peace? Is it giving you tools to rise above the ideas of good or bad? Can you rise above morality or what society tells you is right or wrong? Can you rise above it? Can you go beyond? Or you're going to be stuck in human level where everybody else is at. Can you handle criticism? Can you handle come, somebody come and tell you, hey, you screwed up. You're making mistakes. You da, 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 da. Everything you do is wrong. Can you handle it? Whether it's genuine or not. Or you're going to get all defensive and <laughs> emotional. and <sighs> Because if you're going to get all defensive and emotional, to me, you haven't done anything. You haven't accomplished anything. I'm sorry. I don't care how many ayahuasca journeys you've taken, how many certificates for healing and shamanism you've taken, you cannot handle. You're still a child. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Rising to a yes. higher level of, yeah, rising to a higher level of consciousness it requires you elevating and conquering yourself, conquering your emotional ups and downs, conquering your crazy mind, recognizing how crazy this mind is and not giving into it. Recognizing that you have a murderer inside you, you have a rapist inside you, you got Hitler inside you, you got Mother Teresa inside you, you got a jealous man or woman inside you. You got anger inside you. You have hate inside you. You have to recognize all of these things are inside you. And admit it. That you, you carry hate, you carry anger, you carry a murderer, you carry love, you carry all of these things are within your own self and not pointing finger at other people because you have to conquer yourself first. Is this teaching helping you to come to this place or it's just, it's a mental 
masturbation. You're just going to do something and you think you've done something, but you're nowhere. You wasted your time. It was another workshop, but it didn't go anywhere. So you got to be honest with yourself and really be the real spiritual seeker. Seek the teachings that help you elevate, not just wasting time. As simple as that. Kamala, you have something to say? Mm. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yes. Uh, and I'm just really, you, you were speaking about challenges and the challenges arose for me and has arisen and is arising for me when I don't listen. I don't listen to myself. I don't um, check in with myself. Uh, and, and I, yeah, I really have to listen because then it's more easy. Then it's, it's, it's effortless. It's, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, great, fantastic. So you, you see it, you're aware of it. And, and it was also a question at some point in this shadow work, like, okay, so do I even want to get better? Do I even want to get out of the suffering? Or am I just um, keeping myself here? Because, uh, yeah, I like to punish myself, actually. It's like self-destructive. And am I willing to look at that and let it go? And that mind is just, yeah, that mind. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's another that's that's another addiction that a lot of us are addicted to the suffering. I mean, I've come across a lot of people that I'm really genuine, genuinely trying to show them a way or giving them the tools that they can stop suffering and they don't want to use the tools. They don't want to do it. They just want to go back into the drama. And, and that's where they're at. There's nothing I can do. So it is an addiction. And for me, there was also the question of really, so do I love myself enough to want to heal this? And then finding out, okay, so this is the level of my self esteem this is the level of my worth my self-worth where i am with this and just to say and i was like yeah okay so i begin Man, beautiful well that's a very good place to arrive to because you when you ask that question and you become aware of that particular issue or thing that you just brought up that by itself is a major accomplishment. That's a turning point, whether you can do something about it or not. But that self-awareness, level of self-awareness is huge. Yeah, you're doing a good job. Of course you love yourself enough that you're here. You show up. 